Okay, greetings and welcome back. We're we're playing Distant World Shadows. Okay, um, this is going to be just basically a redesign episode. So uh, if you're not into watching all that, you can safely skip to the next episode. I won't be doing anything other than just redesigns in this uh, in this episode. So if you want to take off to the next one, that's fine. And for anybody who really wants to sit through all this, we'll get started. And we'll start at the top our escorts so again I just want to I want to keep these fairly small uh, you know five six hundred sort of thing and uh, I think what is there is it 1100 or yeah 1100 is our top ship size and 3300 is our top base size uh, when not in a colony so we can go to 1100 right now um, so expect this capital ship to pretty much top out there and then uh, there'll be varying degrees of sizes coming up to that but uh, um, the cruiser might actually be up there as well, but uh, these ones here I try to keep, you know, five, six hundred-ish, if I can. Um, I can go to multiple designs of uh, capital ships and cruisers and that. Um, whether that'll be needed, I'm not sure. I, I, I tend to get away with just specializing these uh, few designs, and uh, I can usually get away with that. Like, I could have uh, three, four different kinds of capital ships if I wanted to. But uh, for for the way I'm playing, um, I just specialize these five designs, and I just uh, use those. So, anyways, I'll stop yapping, and we'll just get in here and start doing this. Yeah, we got armor, we got everything, we got to replace here. So, uh, yeah, this is going to take a bit, and I wouldn't even be surprised if it goes over half an hour. So, just uh, so that you're warned, this is going to be something of a boring episode if you're not into all the ship designing. So I'm just going to come down and familiarize myself with what I need to put on this thing. Um, don't need any of that stuff, so I'm just sort of, uh, yeah, new engines. I think I usually go with Acceleros. Or Acceleros, I guess. Uh, Quantum. Yeah, these are a bit quicker engine. Um, this one cruises higher than this one. This one takes more energy, so yeah, I usually go with the Accelerus. Um, what else we got here? Hyper Deny is still at 1000. Now, we've got uh, a few uh, warp drive options available to us here too. Um, that one has a maximum speed of uh, 13750 and a jump of 7 seconds. This one's a little slower to jump, but wow, look at the speed on it. 30,000. And this one, yes, well, uh, it's kind of, it's a bit slower than this one to jump. So uh, the Equinox I usually go for. That's the one I usually hit. Um, it's a little, a little slower to jump into hyperdrive, but once it's there, it goes a lot faster. So we'll put those on. Um, we can replace any Keslon reactors with quantum reactors, uh, like the fission reactors we can replace with quantum now. Uh, we got trace, uh, trace scanners, scanner jammers, um, shields are still the same. So yeah, we got a few things to do here. Ion pulse weapons. Fires an omnidirectional shock wave that disables weapons and engines of nearby ships and bases. I might throw those on my miners, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Anyways, so that's what we're looking at for, uh, and reactive armor's got to go on too. Yeah, let's just see what the difference is between the two types of armor. We have enhanced armor. So a rating of 18 and a reactive rating of 4. And if we go to this one, 25 and 7. So definitely a better shield. So let's just see what the difference is. We got 180 with 10 of these, so let's take those off. We'll put 10 of the others on. We're at 250, so definitely a better, uh, I didn't look to see what the reactive armor strength was, I think it was four or something. So definitely a, a good upgrade there. So let's come down this side and we'll uh, just uh, update the stuff we need to update. Okay, hyperdrives. Equinox. <laughs> nice, we're gonna get anywhere, lickety split. Okay, so fusion reactor's fine, iron defense, um, 
No, point defense. we got a bit better point defense now. I thought. Terminator auto cannons or something. Where are they? Do, 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 not, oh, hang on a bitch. Anything I gotta do this. Yeah, there they are. Um, so damage five, range two hundred, fire rate point five seconds. So these are a bit better damage, not quite as good range. Fire a bit quicker. A bit more power. Those are a bit faster. Okay, so I think we'll do that. Um, point defense three. So we'll do that. And what else should we do? Should I put heavy rail guns or just stick with rail guns? I might go to heavy rail guns. Yeah, rail guns have a damage of seven, range one forty. Oops. And heavy rail guns, yeah. Wow, these heavy ra rail guns do bombard. Do the regular ones? Oh, well, I guess they do. Oh, zero. Megatons, though. I never thought of those. Anyways, carrying on. Um, now our Epsilon's completely outmoded at this point, I wonder. No, they're still in play. i uh, got Velocity Shards, which are better range. Do I put any of those on? couple of those on. Yeah, I think we're into doing the weapons now. I'm just sort of trying to figure out how I can get my all-rounder to have a little bit of everything. Um, so a couple velocity shards. One concussion missile. I guess that's fine. Yes, I'm just going to replace these rail guns for heavy rail guns. So let's go place those. Yeah, this thing's gonna punch through through anything by the time I'm done with it. Okay, so we definitely need another reactor. Uh, this first design will be a little bit slower, and then uh, once I get my head around what I'm actually doing with all these, then it'll be a bit quicker. So another reactor. Um, I never did put an ion cannon on these. I'll throw one. And got two velocity shot. Maybe I'll throw two shock waves on here too. Why not? So Titan beam shock. Oh man, just going to be a powerful little ship. And maybe we will just maybe hop up the armor on it a bit. Yeah, over a grand. So that's uh, it's a peppy little ship, I'm thinking. Almost 400 firepower. So that's looking not bad. Well, I might go with that. Um, just sort of, like I said, I want to leave these a bit smaller. And we still have a few things to put on here. Uh, our scanner jammers and stuff. These things. Tray scanner. And scanner jammer. Okay. Yep, that's a design, I think. So 570. So it's it's still going to be quite a bit smaller than the other ships that I'm about to design. So we'll just go with that. And I think all that's looking pretty good. Ooh, it's actually a bit low. Uh, somebody mentioned that um, when they do their power, uh, they take uh, the weapon damage, the shield recharge, and the sprint power. Uh, I haven't confirmed this, but I don't think we can fire our weapons under sprint. I think we can only fire under impulse and cruise. So 
factoring the 98 into this might actually be overkill. Um, definitely factor the 42 anyways. Um, yeah, I might have to go confirm that. I'm not sure on that. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll put another reactor on it. Just so we're safe. So in this case, I'm actually factoring in the 98. But Okay, so we'll call that a design, and we'll move on to the frigates. And again, we'll come down the line, and Jerex. Equinox. 30 grand, that just blows my mind. Okay, um, <clears throat> what else do we have to do with this? Protons. <clears throat> did I do these in the last one? I don't think I did. And you know what? I'm just going to go double check that right now. Nope, didn't think I did. Okay, so we'll just quickly do that. And I'll just throw 15 back on, so that's yeah, fairly quick, I guess. All right. Uh, save. Come back to this one. Okay. Do we have any better thrust vectors yet? No. So we're still working on those. Again, uh, if I'm mumbling, don't worry about it. I'm probably not saying anything overly important. I'm just sort of uh, helping my own thought process here. Oh, I hate having to unclick this to get those. Which one was it? Terminator Auto Cannon. Oh, for crying out loud. Point defense. Yeah, having to click that really messes things up because it screws me up over here, too. Okay, so... And I think we'll put an extra shield on there. Bring it over a thousand. Shields, shields, shields. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, what else do we got to do to this thing? Um, scanners. Jammers. Armor. Yeah, I'm not doing this in any particular order. It's going to mess me up. Okay, so we go on to... Weaponry. So this is my capture ship. So again, I don't want... Oh, we got better uh, tractor beams. Yes, we do. I'll throw a third one on there. Okay, and I might add a couple more Titan beams just to make it quick to take the shields down so we can board these things. So that's 1100, uh, or uh, 10 Titan beams. Um, Throw a bit more armor on this just because it does get close and personal to. Oh, I haven't even done armor yet. I swore I did armor. I must be thinking of the previous ship. Okay. So that gives us more armor. Um, now, should I make my boarding assault bigger? By 36. This wouldn't hurt. Like I said, I can make smaller fleets rather than have six ships. I can maybe split them into fours or something and uh, still be effective at boarding. Yes, I think that might be pretty good. And I think we're done in here. Power. I need power. 
Okay. So we definitely have an excess of power, so that's pretty good. Um, engines. Should I throw a couple extra engines on just so I can catch these things? If I'm looking to board. Yeah, probably won't hurt. Uh, engines, engines. So. 19. There's 20. 21. I just want these to be nice and peppy, just so they can quickly, quickly grab these ships. So we'll do that. That looks pretty good. All right, and on to our third design, and we're 15 minutes in. Maybe I should step this up just a little bit if I can. Okay. And again, I'm probably not going to try and talk too much here, just in the interest of getting this done fairly soon. Oh, here we go again. It messes me up when it deselects what I had here. Okay, back down here. I'm going to have to do this in every design. Ugh. Okay, um, now this is my long ranger. What do else do we have for long range weapons here? Do I put velocity shards? Yes. Um, shockwave torpedoes, range 430. Eh, kind of mid range. Um, Okay, that's messing me up. I gotta click those off. Okay, um, just wondering what else I should put on. That is a bit longer range. I think I'm just gonna pop, hop up the concussions by a couple, four velocities by three, 256 firepower. Still got tons of room here. Well, we're gonna need more reactors for sure. So let's throw one of those on. And we'll come down, maybe just hop up these again. Oh, maybe I'll put some shock waves on. Um see what the advantage would be to doing that. They're still a bit slower to fire. Damage lost. Two per hundred distance, four per hundred distance. Mm. Range 430, so velocities have better range. But these are a bit more powerful in damage. Let's just see what the damage range looks like. Yeah, so they're a bit bit less range, but you know what? I'm gonna maybe gonna go with that. And we'll need another reactor. <clears throat> okay. Um, missile boat, eh? Well, I'm just going to plop a couple more of each on here. This thing's going to pack some punch by the time I'm done. Okay, we need more hub and life support. How oh, is my boarding? I should maybe get that up a bit. I should almost check the other ships for that. Okay, what do we got left here? Standard fuel, proto oh, protons are still on here. Okay, we would like accelerals. So. And we'll get our scanner jammers and stuff on here too. And I think 
think that should be a design. Okay. And yes, I know I can go auto upgrade selected designs. Um, but the whole reason I'm doing these videos is to show that I do everything manually. So even though I do semi-automate some of my lesser ships and that, that's about the only automation I actually use in the game. Uh, some elements of the game might suffer for it, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, my mind, either a game's going good or it's going bad, so you just sort of uh, judge yourself to that. Okay, and what else do we need here? Um, hyperdrive. Did I do that in the last design? Ugh. After you've been through a couple ships, then you, you start losing track of just <laughs> whether you did that in the last design or. Um, okay, I think that's all the new stuff. Goes on and come and have a look at some weapons. So this is my ionizing ship. Heavy on the ion weapons. Now ion pulse. I'm still unsure if I want to use these. Omnidirectional shock wave that disables weapons and engines of nearby ships and bases. That sounds like it's not going to discriminate uh, friend or foe. So I might. I think I'm. I've never used them. I might have used them once or twice, but I don't recall. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gun shy of area effect weapons. Well, maybe I'll just hop up the ions on this one. And maybe we'll throw a couple more Titans on it. And I wonder if I shouldn't. a couple of those on this just to give it a bit more uh, variety on just the kind of damage it can do. Oh, point defense of course needs to be done. That's going to be a pain. I actually just click this before I find it on this side. And point defense. And... Oh, where is it? And I think we'll call that. Yeah. Oh, life and hab support. Or hab and life support, however you want to say that. Power. Yes, we need more power too. Okay, and click that off. Tons of ions. And we're at 779 design size. Maybe I'll hop up the shields a bit. Ah, oh, that's armor. Dummy. Shields. I'll leave the armor. It hurts that more armor. Okay, get that over a thousand. I'm going to go a little more on these, actually, here. Just because they are going to be somewhat close up in uh, doing their damage, so... Uh... Okay, I think that will do. We're 800 size, so that's getting pretty big. Alright, so I think we're alright. Save. And finally, our capital ship. Ooh, damage control. I haven't swapped that out yet. Okay. Get the repair bots on there instead. Okay. Uh, armor. And Accelerus engines. Jerks. 
Okay. Okay, so let's put the new stuff on. Tree scanner, scanner jammer. And we were sort of using close range weapons on this. Graviton beans. So we got tons of room here. So I think right off the bat, I am going to throw some reactors on this because I'm going to need them. So I'll add like two more. 379, that seems low, but we'll, there. Okay, and then we'll fill this out. Um, so I don't think I have ion cannons on this thing, do I? No, I don't. Here, I have a couple of those. Um, <laughs> I'm still tempted to use this Devastator Pulse, but I think I'll wait just a little longer before I consider those. Okay, so we want somewhat closer range weapons. I got a lot of weapons on this already. Well, I'm going to throw five more heavy railguns. And five more Titan beams. And have life support. Um, oh, I'm starting to feel a little putty-headed from doing this. So if I get silent, it's because I'm getting kind of lost in my own thoughts here. Again, if there's anything groundbreaking, I'll just speak up and say it. Otherwise, uh, I won't say too much. Oh, point defense. Ugh, there we go again. Point defense. Yeah, maybe I'll add a couple extra to this one. I'll put six on this. Yeah, resonant beams, eh? Okay, I'm just going to click that back off. Well, I'm going to add a couple more of those. Another ion cannon. Yeah, another reactor. Oh, it didn't take me long to burn through those extra reactors I put on. Okay, life support hab. What else do we have? Should I throw some torpedoes on this thing? You know what I should put on here? And I think it will. There's a couple of... Wait a minute, where'd my heavy tractor beams go? Ugh. Yeah, there's something funky going on here. I'm not getting the latest stuff unless I click that off. Maybe some of this isn't considered the latest stuff. Maybe I'm working a bit backwards, but I don't think so. Uh, now, what am I looking for? High-powered tractor beams. Yeah, why is that not a latest component? I don't know. Um, oh, tractor beam, tractor beam. No, I'm not even seeing it here. Oh, it's because I don't have one on here yet. That's why. I'm looking to replace. I just want to add. Okay, one, two, three, three, four. That go with an uneven five, I guess. And we will put another reactor. Okay, that's uh, starting to look like a pretty big ship and we're getting near closer to the end of our size limit here. So, 
I still have 100 power to work with, so I could just throw a couple, maybe I'll throw a couple velocities on here. Okay, so there's three of those. Not exactly a couple, but... Okay, that's a pretty big ship. Yeah, I don't have stealth yet, so it's the only stat that's missing out of here. I'm not going to worry about fighters or troops on this thing. Um, hyper disruption zero. Oh, I got hyper deny. Yeah, I need better attack on that sort of stuff. So I think that's pretty good. We will go with that design. So that's all our major assault ships upgraded. And we're 31 minutes into this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, maybe I'll try and step this up a little bit. So it might be a double episode by the time I'm done here. But the thinking part is I'm probably just going to replace stuff on these. So uh, sort of bear with me while I do that. Thrusters. And point to oh, I'm getting really tired of clicking this off. Okay, point defense. Okay. And I think that's pretty good. How's our power? Power's good. Got a few weapons. I'm not too worried about hopping this up too much. Basically, I just want these guys to drop and go. But you know what? Lately, that uh, invasion fleet's been seeing some action, so maybe I better maybe just pep this up a little bit. Oh, turn that off. And... Yeah, put some more shields on it, maybe. Some more armor. Um... Like I said, if I put too much firepower on this, then uh, I, I think the AI will target these more. Like if I think if it has a choice between taking out a capital or a, a troop sh or something that's like low power, I think they'd probably try and do the capital first. I could be wrong on that. Once again, I'm just going to shut up and get this stuff done now. I think we have massive uh, troop compartments. Yes, we do. And put a couple extra on that. We'll bring that up over a thousand for troop size. And I think we might be done with that. And I think we'll call that a design. Good enough. And hopefully, when I retrofit, I get the new uh, graphic. I'm not sure what was up there. Okay, carrier. So 10 off, 15 back on, do the thrusters, 18 off, I'll put 20 back on, just because it would be nice to see these get away if they need to, and speaking of which, I'll add a couple extra shields, get that over a thousand, um, ugh, here we go again, point defense, I should just add the new ones, leave the old ones on it. <laughs> Probably be a bit quicker to do it that way. And 24 fighters, should I increase those? Um, I think we're doing all right. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Um, of course, the more fighters, the better. Well, maybe I'll increase it to, say, 32 or something. Yeah, 32 fighters each. One more. There. If I take three fighters, then we got over 100 troops. There we go. There are 100 fighters. Um, what else do we need here? 
I think we'll just go with that. Uh, I get the feeling I'm forgetting something though. Yeah, probably am. But I think I got the basic stuff. Uh, scanners maybe. Uh, I don't know if it's worth having those on here. Oops, too far. Ugh. Click that back on. Um, don't really take a whole lot of space. So they're probably not overly expensive. Yeah, should be fine. Okay. Um, I think, I think, I think, I think that's good. Oh, Jerex. Oh, I almost messed that up. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, Equinox. I hope I remember that in the other ones. Oh, more reactors. Okay, 30,000. Okay, just call that a design, I guess. And resupply. Resupply, so do the shield, or the armor. Okay, what else we got here? Jerex. Four. Equinox. Ooh, this one's way low on power. Hmm. That might have been a... That might be a problem for my current design. Okay, well, let's throw more power on it. Okay. Again, I'm not sure just how much I should these things. Um, yeah, it really hops up the defense on them, but... Uh okay, well, bring that last one off. There, 11 crews is about as good as we're getting on this. That's a pretty big ship already. Uh, Titan Beam, Velocity Chair, and Point Defense, of course. Yeah, maybe just adding them would be a better option, but I should almost go with more than three of them, too. Well, maybe we'll uh, adjust that later. Okay, I think we're going to be good with that. Okay. i probably forgetting something, but... Wow, I'm going to have to make two episodes. For, I haven't even looked at the bases. i still got the private ships to do. Yes, this might be uh, a double <laughs> redesign episode. I never realized how much time I actually spent in here until I started recording these. Don't need that many. These aren't really going anywhere. They're just going to sit in one spot and be a spy, so... And Jarek's Reconox. I don't think there's much else to tweak out in that. There's not much they're doing, so we'll just call that a design. Same with this. Protons. Jerks. Um, I guess that's probably good for these. All right, good enough. Other than it was short on uh, energy collectors, but like I said, they don't sit around too long. Well, unless I forget about them, but uh, so. I think I'm going to worry about that too much. Protons for accelerose. OK. 
Okay. And what else? These are construction ships. Did I do the... Massive cargo bays on these. Yes, I did. Okay. I don't think I need to make my, make my manufacturing any quicker. This will just get the bases and everything built quicker. But uh, considering I have my constructors mainly just sort of sitting around these days anyways, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, Equinox Hyperdrive. Okay, I think we'll just go with that. Power is good. Okay, save that. Hey, hey, I got those all done. Now we're on to private ships. And again, hopefully I can just get this done real quick here. Jerex for Equinox. Just got to think of what all I'm going to do with these. Okay. Now we got better fusion reactors, so let's uh, replace those with quantums. Uh, these are still a Keslon based reactor, so they'll still s take the same fuel supply. But just a bit better power. And they show up here without having to click the box. <laughs> okay, so protons for accelerators. Again, I'm not going to do too much thinking on these. I'm just going to replace what needs to be replaced, and we'll call it a design, something like that. Okay. Next. And armor. Fission. Jerex. Again, I'm not saying anything important, so if I'm mumbling, don't worry about it. Oops. And I did all my massive cargo bays last time, so don't worry about that. And done. I guess that I'll whip through these as quick as I can here. And fusion. Quantum. Oh, I can see myself messing my. I bet you I did that in the last design. I bet you put the wrong kind on there. Nope. Okay. My brain's still working. That's a good thing. Probably debatable, but that's a good thing. Uh, Jerex. Equinox. Protons. And good enough. And our passenger ship is half done here. So let's take that revision out. And we did uh, okay. So fission reactors for quantum. Oops. There's two of those, wasn't there? Okay. Uh, protons. And I think we'll call that a design. Got the mass of passengers, so that's good. Okay. Okay. I think we got it.
Okay. I think we're good. Nope. Oh, haven't done the proton yet. Okay. That's all our ship's done. Oh, we're 45 minutes. Uh, I guess I better wait and do the bases on another one. Um, I'm just wondering what all needs to be done here. I'm just going to hit edit for the moment. Uh, yeah, reactors need to be done. Uh, armor, shield. Well, shields are probably fine, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we need a fair bit of work on these two, so... I don't think it's going to take as long as the ships. There's not uh, not as much to think about, so... I might tack it on to the end of the next episode and get it done. I don't know whether it deserves its own episode. And I don't feel like uh, extending this one much longer, so we'll leave the bases for next time. Okay, so... Oop, what's this? Annual, please. Okay, so I'm sure all those are in manual. Well, except for those two, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, I'll do the bases in another uh, another episode. This one's getting tamed along. So yeah, we didn't get much done on the map this time. It was just basically redesigns. So I'm not sure if anybody stuck around to watch all this, but if you did, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode.